All right, here we go. We are live. Hi, everybody. This is John Bowen with Hub Edge Realty, and we're talking with Rob Kagan here of 3D Apartments, or it's actually 3D Apartment, right? Oh, Rob, you still there? Rob, you are frozen. Hold on one second here. There you go. All right, cool. So, uh, all right, yeah, they just uh, it just fizzed out on us for a second there. So, all right. So anyway, uh, this is Rob Kagan with three um, D. Is it three D apartment or three D apartments? Three D apartment singular dot com. Okay. All right. Cool. So, I think uh, I'm going to bring you up on screen here. Select all crop split. Hey, there you are. All right. Okay. Let's Beautiful. Get rid of that. All right. You look good. Thank you. All right, cool. All right, so Rob, you and I do not know each other from Adam. Nope. You reached out to me a couple of weeks ago. You've been reaching out to me for about a month. And uh, I don't, I, I, you know, I don't really know what your business does. Uh, but before we get into your business, I want to know about you. Um, where are you from? Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Longmeadow, Massachusetts, which is the western part of the state. Yeah, that little... Uh, Right? Yeah, it, actually, yeah, right near there. Yeah, it's a suburb of Springfield, Mass. Um, went to Brown University in the 80s. I uh, started my first startup at Brown, a, a clothing company. I had stores up and down the East Coast, down to St. John. Uh, did that for about 10 years. It was exciting. and um, But then I met the woman of my dreams, and she's like, well, we can't really have kids if you're traveling to the Caribbean three, four months a year into the keys and all this. Yeah. And so I um, got rid of that business and I had, one of the stores I had was on Martha's Vineyard. Yeah. So I settled there and yeah. I started a new, com new company there and uh, had that, a property management company and uh, we did uh, uh, construction. And um, then uh, as our kids were getting older, we were like, well, we really don't want them to go to school on the vineyard through high school. Yeah. And so I sold that business and moved to Boston uh, about a year and a half ago where I've been mentoring startups. And uh, one of the startups I was mentoring was this 3D apartment yeah. and um, got to the point where I was really adding value to them and they needed someone in the operations role. And so it was a, a good marriage and I came on board to help them. Uh, first of all, I didn't know you lived in the vineyard. I lived in the vineyard during the summer of 98 and I was a bartender at the uh, yacht club and I was also first mate on the Mad Max. And I lived. Right. On, uh, I lived on Cook Street, uh, right off of uh, the Vineyard Haven, uh, Edgar Town Road, or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. So my store was called Worldview Graphics. We hand painted clothing. We were right next to Essence in the Colonial Inn. Which one? Next is to Colonial Ch Inn. The Colonial Inn is on North Water Street. There's Cheska's Restaurant. It's oh, right yeah, across Cheska's, the street yeah. from the News. The News. I used to go to the News all the time. As I told right. you earlier, so, I quit. So, in. And yeah. I love the news. I got all their chips. I don't know if they have <laughs> chips or not. I love that. I, uh, I love the vineyard. Um, all right. So, um, out of, what's that? Oh, you're breaking up. I was just saying my store was right across from the news up, up across North water street. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. How long did you live there for? Uh, 16 years, full time, 25 years on and off. Man, I don't know why you left. I love, I love, I love the vineyard. The grass is always greener on the other side, yeah. my friend. Oh, I know, I know. I was in the army and I used to have to take my car off the island every month to go to my army weekends at the time. So that was always a pain, but I, I still <laughs> loved it, you know. Um, of course, I still have my house there. Um, so um, um, today is the first day of Passover. You celebrate Passover. And I forgot to tell you when we were talking today that my uh, future sister-in-law and brother-in-law, they are uh, celebrating Passover as well. I, I saw that your company is in Brooklyn or something like that, 3D Apartment. So so the the founders are from Brooklyn. Okay. The, um, the, the one founder is still there doing all the tech, and but the operations are in Boston because the other Brooklyn native went to BU and started a real estate company in Boston. And so he has all the ties to the property management companies that we're talking to oh, all right. and all the agents. Yep. So that's why we're in Boston. 
All right, my uh, my future in laws they live in Park Slope in Brooklyn, and that's why I was asking. So okay. Um, all right. So the real reason I want to talk to you is I want to talk to you about um, your you know quote unquote Matterport killer, but um, that's part of your business. So 3D apartment, okay. what is it? What does it do? So the reason these guys got into business is because they were rental agents and, you know, you have, you need to find like a two bedroom in Austin and you go on YGL and you get these 10 listings, send them out. And then you've got to show all 10 listings, you know, and you're traipsing all around the city. Right. Yeah. And so these guys got together and said, listen, if we make virtual tours and send them out, then the, the customer will really get to see each one with all its warts and make a decision, narrow it down to one or two. And that would save the agent time. And so it wasn't really feasible to charge an agent to make all these uh, these virtual tours. So what we did is we go to property management companies like Alpha, Feinberg, yeah, right. Hamilton. And we said, we'll make virtual tours of all your apartments for free. And we'll put it on a platform. Yeah. And then the agents come to us with a, for a subscription model. And then they can pull off our platform whenever they need whatever. And we make landing pages for them and websites. And so it really helps them connect with their customer better and save themselves time, um, which everyone wants to do. And it really helps with international clients. So, uh, well, which is what, you know, I've sold condos. I don't do a lot of rentals. In fact, mm -hmm. I do very little rentals. And that's why, you know, we, we talk, you know, it just wasn't mm -hmm. me. But I've been getting these uh, requests from some of these monster companies, uh, like you mentioned. And I was surprised to see that you had, you know, that sort of traction already. But what I was really... Um, so now I understand more and that makes a lot of sense to me. So you charge the agent a subscription model. Do you charge by the month or do you charge by the, by the month, by the month for the brokerage, we, we charge for the brokerage and then all the agents get to go on our platform. And what we found is we, you know, we're reaching out to brokerages and a lot of times we'd get, Oh, I'm not a rental agent. I'm a sales agent. You know, yeah. what do you have for us? And so we put together a package much higher end for those sales listings. Uh, that we really feel uh, competes and does a better job than Matterport. And so, you know, we wanted to go all different avenues when we got on the phone. Because when we got on that phone with a brokerage, we don't know who we're talking to. And so, so that's why we had to look at both them venues. So I, um, I'm a dork now. Um, I love um, photography and I, you know, check out the uh, Hub Edge Realty Instagram, by the way. It's awesome. Um, and, um, you know, I do everything on my iPhone. Um, mm -hmm. So this is called um, the Sandmark S A N D M A R C system, and I can connect all oops connect all these different types of lenses to my um, I have the wide angle, I have the fisheye, I have the macro, I have um, before I was using Sandmark I was using moment lenses, and mm -hmm. before that I was using Olo Clip. I know that this probably doesn't interest you, and it's not exactly what we're talking about here, mm -hmm. uh, but. I love taking photos of my listings using my iPhone and everybody gives me compliments and I say, um, they say, well, you know, you, pay, pay, you paid a, um, you paid a um, uh, photography company to do all this. And I said, no, I do it myself. Uh, my brother who sells in Chelsea in the uh, East Boston, he's the, probably the top agent in those two neighborhoods, maybe the top three. I mean, he sold a hundred and uh, Twenty million dollars worth of real estate in the last four years, which is mm -hmm. it's insane. Like that's an insane amount of real it's estate. Great. Itself. It's great. Yeah, because, uh, he's averaging about twenty-seven million a year for the last four years. Now he has he ha so uh, him and I are very different. Jeff used to work with me, and then he left me, and uh, it's a long story. But um, uh, it's hard working with family. It is. It is. I know. So um, so him and I have completely opposite. Um, philosophies he'll hire everything out you know so he mm -hmm. hires the guy to come and do the videos and they do a really nice job he's got like you know almost five thousand people that like his um real estate page on facebook and the guys who do his videos there's a guy named fred light and i'm going to give him a plug he's a good guy and he does a nice job i don't uh he's out of new hampshire he does all the high-end listings um and then there's another guy who he's got a new guy i don't know who it is and he does the listings. so the question is, and I hate to infringe on these guys' businesses, but, you know, how much is my brother paying every time um, that he has one of these guys come out to um, to do his properties? And 
the other part here is I've looked at Matterport myself and I wanted to buy, you know, you can make an argument that the Matterport system makes sense to buy for a brokerage. It's 4,500 bucks. It's a ton of money um, for the camera itself. Um, but I guess I'm not, I haven't looked into it that much because I really haven't been in the market for one. But then mm -hmm. after that, I guess uh, you have to buy a subscription and all kinds of craziness after that. And then you have to learn how to do it. So there's a lot uh -huh. of uh, barriers to entry with Matterport. Right. So you've so okay. So let me start by saying we try to um, help both people, your brother and you. So for people like you who have your own camera and like to make your own virtual tours and stuff, we will help you make those for free. We will do the stitching and uh, put together the virtual tour for you and uh, put it on our platform for free. So we're we are really excited to help move the ball along in this in this new revolution for virtual tours in in any way. And so people who are who want to do it themselves and have their own cameras, we help them do that for free. And that there's no charge. And we just want to see everyone succeed. And like if you become a happy customer on that model, you might someday be, want to move up the chain. And you know then we can help you that way. And then for people like your brother. Um, one thing about Matterport, yes, it's very expensive, and you are paying a subscription model to them. And so whenever you stop paying them, you lose that media. Um, and so that's one of the big things that most pe people don't know. Um, and um, so, and the other thing is, we are professionals at this. So we've got a competing technology that we think is, is better, and we have our team going out all the time. For, they're going out, whether it's uh, using one technology to do the apartments or the higher end technology. And so that's all they do all day long. Um, and so, um, you know, you, that's the decision you have to make, whether you want to have a Matterport in-house in at your at your operation um, and your, have your people spend the time doing that and staging or you want to farm it out. So with our product, um, we have the way it is, it's really cool. And Matterport has this, it's like a 3D floor plan. It looks almost like a dollhouse and you yeah. can like move it around yeah. and you sweep down into it and look around and then you can come back up and then you, you can click on another uh, part of our, that presentation and it gives you a flat floor plan with all of the dimensions. And from that from our technology because we're basically taking a thousand pictures in a circle and stitching them all together we can take high resolution uh stills from that virtual tour and so now for the price that we're selling our virtual tours for you're getting the virtual tour plus you're getting your flat media and so these agents don't have to pay for a flat media photographer anymore because they can get it all for, for one other bells and whistles um is because we have a platform for our whole network, we have landing pages and websites built into our platform. So when someone gets a virtual tour from us, they have a personal landing page for that listing. Their name, their logo, contact information, information about the, the you know, everything about the neighborhood, uh, all the bells and whistles, and a, a branded website that you can have for that listing. So there's there's a lot in there. And then what I really love that we make for our customers um, and no extra charge is what we call a 3D flyer. So if you have a, a real re retail brokerage and you have windows, a lot of times you'll put the listings on the picture, on the, on the window. And so it's just one picture. What we've done is we put the picture of our virtual tour and a QR code on this flyer. So if someone's walking by at night with their wife, husband, going to dinner, they see it, they take their iPhone, go uh, using their camera to the QR code, now they're instantly in that virtual tour. And instead of just seeing one picture dark at night, they're seeing this whole property and there's much more stickiness and they're much more apt to come back the next day or call you about it. In the same respect, our customers have been bringing these 3D flyers to showings and giving them out. And so if a wife or husband goes to the showing, they go home and they used to say, yeah, this is what I saw. And they can't have a dynamic conversation because the person who didn't go really didn't. Oh, Rob, your, your phone, or whatever. 
You, st you're, you still there? Sorry, yeah, you're you're just breaking up. Sorry, you're back. You just broke okay. up for a quick second. So when so when you go home with this listing and you show the 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 three D flyer to the person who wasn't able to go to the list the showing and they use a QR code, they're instantly in the tour looking around it and you can have a more dynamic conversation between the person who went to the showing and the person who didn't. And it helps with moving the process along of getting excited about a property. Wait a minute. So if they scan the QR code, they look at it on their phone, they're inside of the house? In the in the viewing, in the virtual tour. So like as I turn around, like I'll see the kitchen over there or something like that? Um, no, it's it's like a virtual tour. So you use your, your fingers. You, you know, you use your finger. You're in the virtual tour, so you can go to different rooms. You know what? But I just kind of brought up something. That would be really cool, right? So... Um, yeah, it's um, if I can get if I can get Jason, my co-founder. Yeah, Jason. So when you have the virtual tour on your phone, when you move around, does it move around with you? But not the not the. Okay, so on our standard tour, which is what we use for the apartment one, that it's called an accelerometer, and that does happen. Oh, that's awesome. On the new uh, on the new tour, the premium tour, you can scroll around it like a virtual tour and everything, but we do not have the accelerometer on it because it's we're, probably we're, they're probably too big. The, the 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 houses are maybe too big. Maybe I don't know. Well, or the or the file is too big. Yeah. Right. 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 So. But we're working on that. We're working on staging. Time, right. You know, we're working on everything. Right. We're working on being able to put, you know, um, products from, um, you know, Wayfair and other places onto the virtual tour, so you can see how something will look to scale. We have a lot of technology that we're working on, one thing at a time. All right. So I wanna, if I can go to your website here. Um, so, thing3.com. I don't, know, yeah. I don't know that I, uh, let's go to um, Safari. Sorry, I'm blind without this thing. Can you see my, can you see my, you get me my charger? charger? Sorry, Sorry again. again. What? Here we go. So I, I see, see you full, full screen. screen. You see me full screen? Right. right. Uh, let's see here. Can I get you into, I just started using this program. It's an awesome program. It's called ECAM, E-C-A-M-M. -M, and mm -hmm. I just, uh, started honestly just using it. So I'm, I'm a guinea, guinea pig. pig. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you know so what? The dot com, com L -I -S -E -I -N -G 3 dot com is our sales side and that, and that has, has all our new tech. tech. And then 3D.com slash for professionals uh, is, uh, we go, is that, 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 that website. website. All right, so on my side, I can see it. And I just want to let you know that we've had some issues streaming, but I am recording this. So I'm okay. going to be able to post it. I'm on your site right now. I'm on 3dapartment.com. Okay, and you can't, mm -hmm. see, you can't see this on your end? Right. Um, so, so do you, you want to see what, what dapartment.com is, is a front end, end for, 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 for customers? customers. 3D, 3D.com slash four hyphen professionals is for the people who want to go on the network because they're rental agents. People who are, want the high tech new, new, our new tech for sales, go to listing3d.com. Um, so I want to be, um, I want to, I don't want to do it as a real estate agent because nobody's interested in that. You know, there are <laughs> only real estate agents. So. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm on and I'm just gonna go uh, search by. Um, how do you want me to search? Can I just scroll down and see one of these things? Oh, experience it. Here we go. I'm just at your apartment, really, for the first time. I'm in a browser. Uh, so, so this, this is, is so, so you, you can, can put, put in, in when, when you're, you're on 3dapartment.com. You could put in an, an address like, like Austin, Mass, Mass. and oh, it would return. return. Yep. I'm actually on it right and now, and I'm pushing it around 123 Main Street, Unit 3D, $2,400 a month. So it's easy. Yeah, I mean, this is this is just like Matterport. I mean, it really is. Well, 
Right, but the, the, the ones, ones you're, you're looking, looking at is that, that the tech, tech for our, our apartments, apartments is, is low tech, tech. That's you know, still because we're doing a lot good. of them. It's right. still good, so. Right. right. Uh, uh, but the, the stuff, stuff we do on, on listing 3D is, is the stuff that's, that's really high end, end that kind of blows people, people away. All right, so let's go there then. I think you want me to go there, so let's do it. Well, well I, I just, I wanted, wanted you know, uh, you, you said, said that uh, that, that was the stuff that more excited you. So I think I'm having a problem with the stream because um, I think my computer is getting taxed here. Power your operation with 3D virtual tours. So if you scroll down, you can, it says premium 3D tour and if you click on that dollhouse. Uh, premium 3D tours. Okay, yep. Okay, yeah, I see it. Yep. And if you look at the dollhouse, you can move it around, and then in the bottom left-hand corner, you can click on the person, and you're in the in it. If I send you a listing, you didn't want me to send you anything because we wanted to be cold with this, but if I send you a listing, it would have the actual person's name and contact information and all the bells and whistles. So you own this as the real estate broker? When, when we make one for you, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. and yeah, uh, and in perpetual... Perpetuity? No, no, forever. Perpetuity. Uh, perpetuity. 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 Thank you. <laughs> cool. Um, so, um, and I want to get back to, uh, I want to get back to uh, the split screen here. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I can. Never had a problem. Uh, this is only my third time using this, and I've never had a problem. Uh, well, the other two times using this, uh, I, I'm working with a startup, so I'm, I'm used to pivoting and having to, to um, I always like to get, well, you, you do look good and the haircut uh, looks you, good. Sir. Oh, I appreciate it. I got all fancied up for you. So, <laughs> um, all right, listen, Rob, I'm interested and I think other people will be interested in, as well. In demographics so that we are, you know, all the metrics that we're seeing point to, this is helping people move the, move the ball. I agree that I, I agree with I agree with that. So, mm -hmm. all right. So this whole thing with 